Hey, how we doing? Coach Chris here from Holiday Tennis, coming at you today with uh, with three tips to help improve your uh, your two-handed backhand. Um, if you haven't already, uh, like this video and subscribe. It's the best way to support this channel, so I can keep coming at you with uh, awesome new tennis content uh, and eventually just make tennis easier to learn. All right, let's do it. All right, so the first thing is having the the right grip. So um, with your dominant hand, so that's my right hand, I'm gonna use a continental or a hammer grip. My racket is on edge, shake hands with the racket. Nice to meet you, racket, there we go. So it's different than uh, like a, pan, a frying pan grip that more used on the forehand side. So continental grip, kind of a neutral grip. Then your uh, non-dominant hand, so my left hand, you notice how I kind of turn the racket like that? So I automatically put it into a, uh, Eastern backhand position. So if I was a left-handed player, I'd be using um, a, an Eastern forehand. So that's kind of the idea. So if, you know, it's kind of like you have a forehand on this side, forehand on this side, that's kind of the idea. So continental, Eastern forehand grip, first step. Awesome, now that we got the right grip down, um, step two is the take back. Okay, so right away, uh, first decision you need to make is you know is this going to be a forehand or a backhand ground stroke right you got to make that binary decision if you're going to go with backhand okay make sure your hands are in the right spot and you're starting the unit turn okay so you want to end up in a position um, where it's about you know not directly behind you a little bit off so your racket is still on this side of the body but you're fully stretched back so you're really feeling a nice stretch in the arm your, uh, your right arm, in, in, in my case, my right arm is fully stretched here and I'm ready to go. So I'm kind of primed, okay? So if that ball is coming in slowly and I have a lot of time, I'm gonna take my time to get into this position to kind of create as much of a loop as I can. You know, if that ball is coming in really quickly, I gotta get that racket back quick in order to really try to have that, you know, impact point out in front. So again, you're trying to find this uh, position with your racket that's um, as far as back as possible and still staying on uh, your outside of the body okay that's step two awesome we got step one the cor correct grip step two we got the nice take back now it's step three it's time to hit the ball so um, to make it a little more mechanical and a little easier to understand um, what you want to get after this you want to point your racket down so your racket head is below the ball you're going to make contact out in front and you're going to follow through so that's kind of the mechanical way of doing things so it looked like split turn racket down body goes down in front and extend if you're a little bit more advanced if you're comfortable doing that and you want to kind of take it to the next level and you know be more efficient and and be ready to receive uh harder faster balls Okay, so you're gonna do what's called a racket flip. Okay, so you're gonna get into this position where you know the racket head is above or is above the hands, like this. And then at the, when you're ever you're ready to make your um, your your strike, you're ready to make your racket go towards the ball. You're gonna feel like your right hand, so my dominant hand, is pulling the racket this way. Okay, that's kind of the idea, pulling it this way. And my left hand, which is more of the, like the, the dominant hand on this side, is pushing, okay? So it's push, pull, push, pull, okay? And if you can do those um, two in unison, because again, we're, we're using two hands on this side of the body, we wanna make them in unison as much as we can. So we're getting into that nice take back position, okay? And then at the same time, we're gonna try to push, pull. Okay, so think of that as you're doing this, push, pull. So what this does, it allows your strings to face the target for a pretty solid amount of time. So the more time your strings are facing the target, no matter where you make contact with that ball, whether it's here, 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 you're still guiding it into the right direction okay so again if that ball is coming in pretty quickly you don't have a lot of time to set up you get that racket back as long as that racket is you know going in the right direction the ball is going to go there for sure so 
that's a, a little bit harder to understand. I'm, I'm, I, I, I have to admit, I kind of lost my two-handed backhand for about like 10, 15 years, but the past like three or four months, I've done a ton of shadow strokes and really keying in on that racket flip. And uh, you know, I've been hitting a couple in my red ball sessions, again, with this small 21 inch racket. So I'm very relaxed. Um, I'm kind of not a lot of pressure on me. It's not like I'm hitting baseline to baseline and it feels really nice, right? So I, I've put in that hours into the shadow strokes. So it's feeling effortless and that's kind of the, what you want to feel on every stroke. Um, but you know, if you can do it on the backhand, why not? Okay. So those are the three steps, grip, right hand continental, left hand, uh, Eastern forehand on that side. Uh, step two, that take back, you know, we're, we're racket head is above, uh, the, uh, the hands and we want to be doing that, you know, depending on the ball, but definitely in this position before our opponent's ball hits the ground. So that's another story, but that's kind of the idea. And then you want to be pushing with the left hand, the, the, the non-dominant hand and pulling with your, your dominant hand. And that's going to give you a, 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 a you know, a world-class backhand. If you can master those movements, it's going to take a lot of shadow strokes, uh, but you know, you can do it. We're, we're about three months away from the outdoor season. So now in Canada, so now is the time to, to practice these, get all the mechanical glitches out of there. So when you hit the courts in May, you're thinking about playing tennis and you're, you're not thinking about, oh, how do I hit my back end? So uh, keep it up. I'll do a couple, uh, maybe a minute of shadow strokes so you can see, but uh, let me know what uh, you want to see in the later videos. Thanks for watching.